Ladies and gentlemen, would like to welcome you to this story. I was lucky enough to be able to find the picture so we could pay homage to the baby that was lost in this situation. Very tragic story. That's the individual we're going to talk about. Keep this real short and sweet. But let me give you guys a disclaimer before I talk about the story, because this might be your first time here. But some of you guys might find this content controversial or offensive. The information in this video is coming from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news websites, and interviews. My video commentary is also going to contain my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is, is to use this as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies to our children like this. Viewer discretion is advised, and that is your official disclaimer. And I want you guys to take a look at her face. I want y'all to know exactly what evil looks like. Now, from what I found out, I looked it up. It looks like DeKalb County is kind of the eastern portion of Atlanta, kind of mixed with some other uh, cities in there. But this is specifically out of Lithonia, DeKalb County. And that woman, that mother, and I'm getting this from AJC.com. So thank you for the article. This woman is accused of drowning her baby and was taken into custody Thursday at a Decatur funeral home, according to officials. Let me say that again, because that is a mouthful. This woman was accused of drowning her baby. She was taken into custody on Thursday because... She, and they caught her at a Decatur funeral home. She was attending a funeral, not of her child. Yeah, let that sink in for a moment. So that fool, I mean, that wonderful, awesome Black queen with the crown on her head that doesn't belong to her. <laughs> her name is Shaquilla Feaster. Shaquilla, what a stupid name. But y'all know stupid names equal stupid things, right? Shaquilla Feaster is 31 years old of Latonia and was arrested and charged with second degree murder the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office said in a news release. The charges stem from her child's death last month, the Sheriff's Office said. According to an arrest warrant obtained by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Feaster, the mother, is accused of leaving her infant unattended where else? In a bathtub on July the 30th. Now, why did I make such an emphasis on bathtub? That's because a lot of our stories that we present on our channel somehow end up with dead children and bathtubs. Yes, another bathtub story. Y'all can type it in the chat. Another one. Another one. DJ Khaled. Another bathtub story. She is accused of leaving her child unattended in a bathtub. Feaster put the child in the tub filled with water then went downstairs for about five minutes, and that's according to the warrant. The child was taken to the hospital, but died days later, the sheriff's office said. The girl identified in the warrant as Jelani Small, who was 29 weeks old. My question, how effing Stupid can you be as a human, as an adult, as a mother, allegedly? To even let those words come out of your mouth. That's the baby. Thank you to the family and friends who shared this. Because that's the only image we have of this beautiful lost soul. I'll try to make that as big as I possibly can. But that's all we have. I want y'all to take a look at this angel. Look at her. What type of mother, what type of parent, 
what type of caretaker, what type of human would even let those words come out of their mouth? You drew a bath for a 29-week-old baby and left for any period of time for any reason. If you got to go somewhere that bad or walk off that bad, take the child out of the tub. That's what common sense would say. You left a allegedly, and, and keep in mind, this is alleged, okay? She's claiming that she left the child in the tub at 29 weeks old. That is such a beautiful baby. Jelani Sherry Ann Small. I like her middle name, Sherry Ann. Beautiful little girl. Beautiful angel. She died on August the 4th, according to an obituary, which we, we saw that. Her funeral was Friday morning at Peace Baptist Church in Decatur. Feaster, the mother, alleged mother, was booked into the DeKalb County Jail. If I can get this off my screen. Thursday evening and remains there with no bond, according to online records. And good, she don't need a bond. Under Georgia law, a person charged with murder in the second degree when they are accused of causing the death of a child through second degree cruelty to children, which is based on criminal negligence. I'm glad that they are harsh in this situation, even amidst the allegations, but I think that they handled this properly. But let me give you guys the fair usage. Here we go. Let's get it. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use. It is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. And if you guys are listening to the sound of my voice, if you would, do me a favor and please click that thumbs up because what this does is it shares this story and shares this beautiful baby story because I think more people need to hear it and so we can pay respects to her memory, okay? So I one news video. Here we go. A mother is behind bars tonight after police say she left her baby unattended in a bathtub. They say her child drowned, and now she is facing charges of second-degree murder. CBS 46's Sawyer Bussey joins us live in our Midtown studio with more. Sawyer, what an awful story. Police tell us the baby was left unattended in a bathtub in late July, was taken to a hospital, and died days later. Shaquilla Feaster remains in jail tonight, facing second-degree murder charges after police say she left her infant Jelani Small unattended in a bathtub, which caused the child to drown. The criminal arrest warrant from DeKalb County says on July 30th, Feaster left the child in a bathtub full of water before leaving the room for five minutes to go downstairs. The DeKalb County Sheriff's Office says the child was taken to a hospital, but died days later. While details in this case are still very limited, experts remind parents never to leave your child alone when they are in or near water. Children can drown in as little as an inch of water and can be completely silent when it happens. According to the CDC, two thirds of all drownings kids one year and younger actually happen in bathtubs. The American Academy of Pediatrics published a report in 2021 that found most infant drowning deaths occur in bathtubs and large buckets. 30% of caregivers reported their child drown when leaving them unattended for one to five minutes. Now the 31 year old mother is currently being held without bond at the DeKalb County Jail. Saw your bussy CBS 46 news. And the fact that she don't have a bond, like I said, she shouldn't have a bond because her daughter didn't stand a chance because of the position that her mother left her in that just flat out, just hate neglect, you know, um, the unwillingness to put their children first as a priority and love them and give them the absolute best care. I think that, you know, life sentences should definitely be due in these situations. No bond, I think, is appropriate. But I don't think there should be sympathy on people that are just flat out this callous towards babies who can't speak for themselves nor defend themselves. And you're forcing these children into this world and they didn't ask to be here. And then we treat them in the cruelest way possible. Here's what I believe. 
But I believe is that this was a convenient excuse and that she didn't want this baby to be here for whatever reason. And she thought to herself, well, this might be an innocent way. I might be able to get out of this. Maybe get a little slap on the wrist. And I'm glad they're treating this as harsh as they are because they absolutely should. Not only for just this baby, but for all of our children. To that beautiful young princess, that young soul, her name again, Jelani Sherry Ann Small. Let me see if I can get her face back up here. Beautiful princess. R.I.P. Really wish we could have known what she could have grown up to become and become something great. But like I said, we have to have parents that care, okay? But that's what we want to encourage, and we definitely want to get harsh judgment against people who hurt our children. And we also want to make sure that we protect our babies. From my heart to yours, I love you all. Thank you, and have a great day, and have a great night. Leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you guys think about this, okay? Thank you.